Okay, here we go. This is the one equation we put under the advanced section. Um, so again, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have a pen here to write with. And I'm going to start by putting things uh, over my calculator so I do not forget to check it. I want to make sure I do that. I'm going to go over and use this A divided by B button to make it easier to put this in the calculator. Negative 3P minus 6. And down in the denominator, I have a 4. And then I know I'm going to have to divide P at some point, so I'll be ready to do that. Um, I'm going to come back over here and go ahead and try to solve this equation. First thing I have to do is, is clear through that uh, fraction. So I know that to do that, I have to multiply each side by 4, because these 4s uh, will cancel out. And negative 3P minus 6 will come here. 4 times 2P is 8 so the next thing, since that's a negative 3p, I'm going to add it to move it over to this side. So that gives me 11p equals a negative 6. And then if I divide both sides by 11, p will give me negative 6 over 11. So that's very interesting. Let's come over here and put that in. Negative 6 divided by 11. And if you look at the two lines of the calculator, 1.090909 and so on, they both match. So that means that my answer is correct. So when you solve something, again, always, always, always check it in your calculator. Okay.